Welcome back to the Cowboy Slots channel where we bring you 20 years of experience working in the casinos, working on slot machines, as well as interviewing industry experts to keep you informed on the most up-to-date and accurate information when it comes to playing slots. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel. We do this kind of stuff all the time in addition to live play, live streams, all kinds of fun stuff. So welcome aboard. We're glad to have you. We've got a lot of new people here lately. We really appreciate you joining the Cowboy Slots family, and we are here to make you better educated and a better gambler overall. All right, so today's topic is a hot one. It's all about time of day. Does it actually matter what time of day that you play a slot machine? Or what time of the week? Does it really matter? Should you go on the weekend? Should you go at four in the morning? Does it matter? The answer is no, but we're gonna explain ourselves here. We don't just say something because we feel that's the way it is. We back it up by talking to industry experts as well as looking up the information ourselves. We've worked in the casinos before. We know how, how it works and what goes on behind the scenes. So first thing, we did an interview with Shoshone Rose Casino with the gaming commissioner as well as the lead slot technician and we asked them, does time of day matter when it comes to playing slots? Oh no, especially with standalone units because you have to go to every single game and actually ram clear, option, and it's such a process that no, I don't think any casino would do that, really. I really don't. All right, so you heard it there from DJ. No, time of day does not matter. They do not have a schedule. They cannot program the machines to pay at certain times, things like that. But we went a step further and we asked him, what is the actual process that goes into changing a payback percentage on a machine? And this is what he said. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's a process to even go in and change the odds. I mean, it's um, we're heavily regulated. And like uh, Charmaine was mentioned, gaming holds all the keys. So me as a slot tech, I can't go out to the machine and just start flipping odds off. You know, I really have to contact them. I have to give them a paperwork, a reason. And once the machines are set, they're set. We don't mess with them. Um, they are checked annually to make sure that they're paying what they're supposed to be paying. So aside from that, we don't ever really change the odds at all. We just, once we set the machine on the floor, it's on the floor, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing, and we're happy. All right, you still don't believe us? Let's keep going. Now we're gonna to talk to IGT's Anthony Bearlocker, who is a Senior Vice President of Global Innovation at IGT. and was actually the man that sat down and programmed, actually wrote the code for a lot of the popular games that we play today, like Top Dollar, Pinball, two, three, four, five times pay, et cetera. He sat down and wrote the code. So we asked him, is there any way that a casino can set or can a machine be set to pay out at certain times of the day better than other days? And this is what he said. Uh, there's no outside influence that can go into the game. They can't pick a time, a day, a player. Uh, none of that happens. The game operates completely agnostic. Uh, to who's playing, what time of day it is. It knows what time of day it is, but that has no influence on the random number generator or the outcomes or any of that. So it's truly just a pure luck, random chance event. All right, you still don't believe us. Okay, let's keep going. All right, the next thing. One of the things that people think is, okay, we understand all that. There's no setting for a certain time of day or whatever, but the casino can install a program on top of the slot machine that allows it to interface with their central server to manipulate the odds. And we asked Anthony this question, is that possible? So here's what he said about that. No, there, there's no way they could do that. Uh, our platforms are very uh, secure. They're also designed just so with our, our own programs are the only ones that will work with it. Uh, if they tried to hack into it, they, they could lose their gaming license as well. And there's regulatory bodies that go around and check the machines. Everything has secure, secure keys, tape, you name it on there. There's no way a, a property could ever go in and modify the game. All right, so there we go. You still don't believe us. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hang in there. Let's just say that they could change it for a certain time of day. Let's say that they went through the arduous process of getting the gaming commission to come out every Friday morning to change the odds. Here's the thing. Odds changing on a slot machine is a long-term play. It takes a very long time for those odds to make any kind of difference because there's gonna be a lot of variance in the short term. 
What do I mean by variance? Well, let's take a look at this PAR sheet. Now, a PAR sheet is basically the instruction manual to a slot machine. This is what tells the casinos how the slot machine game is designed to play out. I want you to take a look at this section down here on this PAR sheet about variance. And you can see here, with 1,000 spins, you get a range of payback percentages. So it could be low or it could be high, but notice that it's not anywhere close to the payback percentage setting on this actual machine, which is around 89 or 90 percent. But notice that the more spins that you generate on the machine, the closer and closer it gets to that payback percentage. So what this tells us is that in the short term, you're not going to notice any kind of difference in a payback percentage change, and neither will the casino. So one of the things that we did to prove this theory is that we did an excellent video, and I'm going to show you a clip from that video right now so you can see what actually happened, and I'm going to talk over it. So what we did here is that we set up a pinball machine exactly like it would be set in the casino. We first set it to 85, 86% payout, and we did 200 spins on it, okay? And then we took it to 98%, the highest possible setting, and we did 200 spins. The takeaway here is that in the short term, 200 spins, the one with the lowest payback percentage actually did a whole lot better, up to 156 or so percent return to the player. That is because slot machines take a very long time to eventually reach that goal. There will be variance along the way. There will be swings. There will be good days and bad days, but it's not intentionally programmed by the machine or the casino. It's just designed to play out that way. And so guys, please feel confident that you don't have to worry about time of day or going to certain days a week. I understand that you might feel that it's better sometimes, but it's all about randomness. Randomness makes those things happen, and that is what's going on. All right, guys, that will do it, and we hope that you learned something today, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and have a wonderful, lucky rest of your week. Take care, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Check out these other videos, and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more slot tips. It's always free. Visit RopeTheJackpot.com for free guides and a whole lot more. Catch you on the next episode.